Hey, welcome everybody. It's time once again for another episode of Driven by Design. The one show, maybe the only show that talks about all the things that drive us today and to keep us going even at tough times with the man who seems to always keep going, Brian Thompson. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm really glad you guys are here today for a very special show. Um, today, uh, Driven by Design is a, is a show for our followers that features uh, the future inspiration design, typically through an automotive lens. Me being a car designer, um, uh, Paul having a background in automotive, we talk about uh, the future of car design through a, a lens of automotive perspective. Today, we're going to shift gears, no pun intended, uh, mm -hmm. a little bit to talk about looking, moving, always looking forward, trying to give back. And today is about two projects. Um, in, in my career, I've always tried to get to a point where I can give something back. Last year, we talked about the LGBT design scholarship I created mm -hmm. in collaboration with College for Creative Studies in Detroit. Uh, that's now been awarded and it is a scholarship that is starting to um, give monies to LGBT students who want to go to very expensive school like CCS to become a designer. This stuff is, is really important to me, not only um, as I get older, but these are personal issues that I, I think people like me uh, can benefit if you just take a minute to stop and give back. And so today what I want to talk about is a new project called Shine. And Shine, uh, in the broader sense of uh, where we're living, is allowing people to shine their light, helping people to shine their light through dark times. Specifically, uh, Shine is a series of portraits of gay and lesbian men and women who have been through domestic violent relationships, such as myself. And the portraits focus on the light that is bright within all of us that can be dimmed from a very specific type of physical and emotional abuse, but can never be put out. And so the program uh, is a collaboration between the College for Creative Studies in Detroit, again, where I'm pairing student photographers with professional photographers, and those two uh, entities are shooting uh, portraits of people's light, showing their soul, showing their strength after they've come out of domestic violent relationships. And what I like about the way we're setting it up is that it will culminate in a gallery show where the student work gets to show right with the professional work and the students get exposure to the pros and the pros get inspiration from mentoring and working with the students. And so I'm very excited to, um, to see this start to grow. Well, I tell you what, you couldn't pick a better time to be talking about shining. We live in such dark times, I'm sorry to say. Um, we're going into the dark part of the year when uh, you and I both lived in Detroit. It gets physically dark back there <laughs> for months on end and gloomy oh and everything. Uh, we're <laughs> going so through dark. a potential second wave, seriously, in the coronavirus that could be a dark winter for many. Uh, we're going through what we hope is not a dark uh, political uh, election here with all sorts of disagreements and disputes. We live in times where we're always being talked about how dark things are looking ahead, and yet you're constantly trying to focus on the light. And I, th I think of what you do even in your own work. You don't seem to focus on dark designs as much as you do on light and bright designs. Am I right? I think yeah, I, I try to. You know, uh, Tom Matano, my mentor in the car industry, Mr. Mazda Miata himself, yeah. always said, if you have a, if your job is to create a tiny bit of the future or the world we live in, why not make a happy one? What's yeah. the point of making an apocalyptic future if if you right. have to contribute? So that does guide me in the work, um, and and it is what's interesting about 2020. I have found is that. There has been a lot of unrest and a lot of ambiguity and a lot of fear and a lot of disruption mm -hmm. uh, in in both positive and negative and and in the negative in the darkness I, I've found that there's been these little beautiful moments to stop mm -hmm. to stop and say wait do I want to be a part of this noise mm -hmm. that I'm hearing or do I want to contribute something that's luminous mm -hmm. and for me personally to have exited uh, a violent relationship that left me with scars and and and, and yeah. really dimmed my light yeah. to to take that pain and to detach from it and 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 keep the empathy for humanity the per the, the kind of person that would hit you 
but to detach from that empathy and take that pain and make something beautiful out of it is, is what I really want to do. And, and what I'm finding, the surprise part is that the, it, it's, it's unfolding. It, I feel like I'm just bobbing and weaving and like, it's just happening. I thought the hard part would be to get content. Mm -hmm. That's been the easiest part. Yeah. Um, what I'm learning is that so many people go through violent relationships and they never talk about it. And, and just by scratching the surface, by just telling a little bit of my story, um, the, 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 the amount of people that have reached out to say they would like to be a part of this, um, it, it makes me really emotional. It really mm -hmm. uh, touches a place deep to hear that, like, not only is it uh, going to be, a, is it, not only is, are the photos that are developing beautiful, but what I'm learning is that the healing that happens by sharing is that you disassociate it from a personal conflict between two people and mm -hmm. you realize that physical violence is a brush with mental illness. Mm -hmm. and, and anybody who's been in these relationships has the same stories. They, and, and that's the part that's blowing my mind is that their experiences are my experience. Mm -hmm. And by talking about it, by, by not being afraid to talk about it, especially in LGBT relationships where I think um, it is pushed down because if it's too I, I never hear about it talk it in that realm. I hear it talked about in terms of, uh, you know, uh, parents abusing uh, their fathers abusing their daughters or their sons. I hear about it talk, uh, husbands abusing their wives. I don't hear about it in. in well, and I, th and I think there are many resources for straight relationships. And, and for me, being an LGBT member, I, I want to do the things that I can understand and, 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 and touch space, spaces that maybe are not as dealt with as much. And what I have found is that, for example, if it's, if it's two men, people can often say, oh, that's just guys fighting. And it's like, no, there's a, there's a real difference between uh, a disagreement and somebody that hits you yeah, yeah. and justifies the violent. Right. Or I've heard um, many of the people have said, I, I've kept the story inside because I was afraid to tell the story because I, I don't want to hurt the person that hurt me. Right. And that has been remarkable to hear how many people have said that. And so what I have seen coming out of the photos is that each, each photo is a collaboration with the model and the photographer. So I'm actually not really involved too much because I don't want to overstep my right, vision. Right. I want to allow it to grow. But each photo, I'm seeing a story emerge of, of inner beauty. Um, uh, you know, one one. Um, Give us an example. Who, Give us a, a, and a, a good example would be one a person who is a who is a dancer, a really established professional dancer, dances for Katy Perry, Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. He was thrown through a uh, into a glass case, and what he wanted to communicate. Ooh. This is years ago in a in a in a in a yeah. violent relationship that he's long grown from. But what he wanted to communicate was that he passed through that glass unharmed, stronger. And so the motion of his picture communicates this liberation and light as he moved through the glass. Um, and like a real breakthrough. It, it what what was could have broken him allowed him to break through. Exactly. And it was when I saw the photo come in, I. It just stopped me dead in my tracks, uh, and I and I what I was touched by was the not only the sto the the story and the f freedom, but the, a, a but strange was, choice of words for you to say stopped me dead in my tracks. Yeah. You well, know, it did. All of my heart things. stopped yeah. for a minute, right? And but then I just but it could yeah. have stopped him dead, yes. literally in his track of life, in his track where he was going. Yeah, all right. And he passed through. And what, what touched me when I, my heart started up again, right. I was touched by the, the beauty of the creativity that the, that the photographer and, and, and the model uh, created something so beautiful out of this pain. And at this point, I, there's about 10 fo portraits happening that I'm coordinating right now. And each one has a different way to tell this story. Some are very glam, like there's one, um, there's a photographer who's shooting a, a woman who has cuts on her arms and the way they're doing it is, is she's like wonder woman with her, her invincibility bracelets oh, and it's just okay. oh it's so powerful you know it's like just so meaningful and yeah. so what you see is scars that was meant to to kill me or suppress me or keep me down is not my bondage it's my free because that's the only thing that always struck me about wonder woman in some sense it's almost like 
uh, that could be seen as her, her uh, uh, chains, her bound, mm -hmm. the way she, she holds it in the bracelets, but she does it in a liberating way that this isn't going to hold me back. This is going to propel me forward here. Yeah, exactly. And in the, 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 the broader scope of this time that we're in to me is, is a time that has light and darkness, but, and people, I think in general and a broader sc scope can be, held in these kind of chains of fear right now yeah. or find moments to shine. And that's, that's what I want to do. That's why the, the, the Instagram account for it, where the photos are starting to appear is called to shine through. Just look <clears> what that imagery what does do. to me. Just show that X again on to people on a thing there that mm -hmm. can either be stay away, mm -hmm. you know, right. vampires Defense. get away. Mm -hmm. uh, it can either be I'm bound and I'm right. not free. Or in Wonder Woman's peculiar way, she only gets power when she put touches those two <laughs> it's together. The power of it, right? Like she's yeah. kind of up like that. Yeah, she's got to hold those two. It's it's what yeah. it, the the symbol that most have for for being bound is what frees her, her ability yes. to to break through that. I never thought of that till right now, but that's well, just what I look and, at it. Yeah, and that's what I love about this project is that like something that's obviously very personal to me um, is having a, a broader effect as it grows because I, I in my mind I have a vision of what I'd want to communicate personally but what I'm finding that people are where people are taking it um, is somewhere I never would have imagined and that's what I love is the yes. unboundless creativity so let's talk about that for a second yeah. because I think that runs through your work and I think that runs through the design field in general and photography in general in that you start off with a picture in your mind this is going to be uh, we talked about the Honda um, what was the little square one they made that they thought would appeal to young kids and instead it appealed to the old element. people like the element, exactly. Because we saw something in it that the designers didn't see and the people who it was intended for, the young kids to put their surfboards in, didn't see it uh, and didn't react to it at all. You seem to have find way and you like to find ways in the unexpected, the surprise. The, the thing yeah, I didn't I, I mean, see I, that comes out of, you create something and it's like, wow, this has a whole different life and a whole different appeal to it here. Well, I can tell you this much. I, you know, my, my, my grandma who did a lot of my raising of me, she always said to me, <clears throat> Brian, we are not the human beings that we live inside of. Okay. We are the love that lives inside them eternally. And and what, what that wow. meant to me, because I, I thought about it all my life. As, Say it as, again. You know, yeah, you said I, I got to wrap my head around this one. So okay. she said, we're not the human beings that we live inside of. We are the love that lives inside them eternal. And what that means is it doesn't matter whether you believe in Jesus or Buddha or any sort of religion. It just right. means that we, in our essence, are love and we are light and we shine. Yeah. And what I took away from that is that someone can dim your light they can make you feel dim but they can't put it out they never put it out and and what yeah. i want whether it's my design work uh, the work that i create for you know clients or art it, it's I, I always want to show that that the um the the human spirit is in you, you can't extinguish. resilient indomitable uh the light doesn't go out and yet many people we've seen you know child, pictures of children in africa starving in my own life i adopted a little girl from mexico uh, who'd been abused and oh. all of this uh oh. you know you just look at them and you think there's nothing there but you look at their eyes and there's still a spark and, and it doesn't take much to 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 feed that spark and turn it into a fire to bring it back out. You can do, it can dim. There's no question about it. Bad things can happen to people and that light in their eye can start to go out. But I don't think it, unless. I believe it doesn't. I believe it's, I believe yeah. it's, I believe it's the love eternal. Yeah. That, um, like, here, let Maybe me just, because she's right here. <laughs> I got it. Maybe it is. So this little lady right here doing her best to hold me. You can Look see that, that right there. That, That's boy. Mama Lou. And she's the one that taught me we it's the eternal light. And so, you know, and I think what I love about this project as we get as we wrap up here is that in this time where it it, it does it can feel like a dark time, uh, people will always shine through. And I think uh, if, if it's personal abuse or physical or violent abuse, what I'm learning is that people are bright enough and, and beautiful enough to shine through it. And so the two shine through uh, series 
is showcasing that. Mm -hmm. Well, where do we find out more about it and how will we see this when it comes out? So uh, right now, uh, Shine has an Instagram account that is to shine through. That's T-O, Shine through, T-R-H-R-O-U-G-H, right. to shine through. Right. Uh, that's on Instagram. Uh, it connects there to the College for Creative Studies website. Um, and as it grows, there will be more updates about where we're going to have the gallery. Um, what I think is fascinating is in this time of COVID, we are – uh, preparing for a gallery show in a period that we don't yet understand what it will look like. Yeah, exactly. So the best way to do that is to contribute the content now and allow it to grow. So what you'll see there right now are the first few portraits. The, uh, and then as it grows, we just put out the call for entries for the students today. Okay. So now the student work will start show up. Any particular projected time frame for this? Uh, when will the first go out? How often will it be updated? How long should we expect this to go on for? I don't know. Any of that? All that to be determined? Well, that's a great, those are great questions. The uh, It's happening now. Uh, what's happening, what I'm noticing is it's growing. My dream is that it doesn't ever stop growing. Mm -hmm. Is that it keep that this becomes a resource for people to to take the taboo off of talking about this, mm -hmm. to let it out, and then allow it, your sh your light to shine, to shine brighter. Through, right? uh, I'll, as we close up, you know, another thing Mamalu always said is if you shine your light, it helps other people shine theirs. Yeah, and that's really important. It reflects off others exactly. Yeah. it helps uh, inspire it. Well, thank you for inspiring us, not just in the work you do and the designs, the the positive way you design cars and the positive way you look at things, but in your give back approach to try and help others find the light within them and shine it out to them. Don't don't dim it. Uh, don't darken it. Uh, bring it forth here. Look forward to uh, seeing I, it. I love uh, I love doing this show with you, and I, I'm always <laughs> grateful to you for giving us this platform to do it. So, Paul, this is good stuff. All right. Well, let's uh, one more time. Instagram is? To shine through. Right here on Orange County's only community radio station, OCTalkRadio.net.